This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Computer Science 2, the Python version of the course. I'm on level 15A, Backwoods Standoff A. Goal, wipe out the camp. If cleave is ready, use it, else attack the nearest enemy. All right, let's see. Okay, munchkins are attacking. So here are some comments, and those are for us, right? The code, the computer skips over those. Okay, we have a wall true loop. Anything uh, indented is going to run forever. Use an if statement with is ready to check cleave. Okay, so if, and then is ready. Oh, what am I missing here? We can always use this to check. Okay, so I do need hero. So if hero dot is ready, and then I want cleave just like they have in quotes with a lowercase cleave. Um, colon. So if cleave is ready, oh right, we're gonna do hero cleave. I'm just gonna click on that. One. Ah no, I clicked on the wrong one. Hero ah cleave. There we are. And enemy enemy works because we made this variable enemy, and then we told our hero to look around and find the nearest enemy. And then what our if statement's going to do is we're asking the computer if cleave is ready. So if it is, the computer checks hero. Is cleave ready? If it is, the computer will then drop down. The computer says true, drops down into this, and says hero, cleave the enemy. Else, this will only run if the computer tells us false. So if cleave is not ready, attack the nearest over. OK, attack, and enemy will work as well. So what's going to happen? if Cleave is ready. The computer says true. It drops down and runs whatever code is indented here under our if statement. If it's not, if the computer says nope, cleave's not ready, false, the computer will drop below this if statement to the else and automatically run whatever is within the else statement. If cleave was ready, the computer says true. Once it runs cleave, it skips the else statement. It will hit the bottom of our loop and then go back to the top. If we had other code under the else statement, it would run that, but we just have the end of our loop, back to the top and repeat. So let's see if this works. Awesome. And so this is the code that worked for me. Great, let's keep going.